a hill. So now welcome to the third video of building Slack from scratch. For the last video, which we do, we say we just push all the uh, repos to GitHub. Uh, we create github account we create github repo so if you never watch those video if you go watch this video before you watch this one but if you know how to create all this uh, git repo and you know how to push then you don't need to watch that video but for this video i just want to set up our api local uh, development environment and this might be the slack we want to try to build from scratch and you get the backend functionalities and you also get front-end functionalities like the managing of the user password and all those things all those things could they be driven by the backend and um, but now for real development settings which you they get you say they get teams we get with with into front end and we get people with into the back end and both of them are supposed they block themselves so we need a way we we'll say both of them feed they develop you know without interfering with each other and later everything will just come together as one now what i mean this one i mean the server here and this server we know say this server they run for port 3000 so if i go my my browser i go 3000 i see hello world this within the server make when you do this thing now something where they call http method so if i go to the http method you see now http method now the column http verb http itself now protocol we come in front end which is the client side and the, uh, the server they use to take they communicate and they get the concept of verbs which is method get post put delete patch all these things when the client side send those requests with those method the server go treat those requests differently if you go to this network tab and we refresh now to see this kind of method we see say now nah, get but from the server from the front end side here now the only thing we will do here now get method nine browser did configure to just do by default when you put down for the url now get it go do it go make so without javascript to actually change the method which means having a functional front end you know to make those requests then there's nothing we can do you cannot post you cannot create new user and all those things that's why we need postman see because postman will allow us to do all those things without having those ui component like all this input feed and all those things you could just help us you could just give within you could just give the server within in it which is the payload so collaboration platform for api development you see all these things you need to if you use them for automated testing if you use them for api client if you use them to create workspaces i will show you now how to do this one and if you use them for documentation so api client and workspaces now we could mostly they do you know they use them for all these uh, these things not just use them as client to make the rest endpoint so now how do we set it up if you go here and you download go download them and if now windows you go use it will show you the windows download button and if now mark it they use you will show you this one so but me i don't already get them installed and i don't get them open here this workspace now workspace not just like a company like so if you create new com new workspace we could just create slack slack clone or make we just make them like ng gigs so that I'll fit fine now so make an ng gigs and we create them now i don't give us any gigs and with the the workspace now there is no environment and what is the concept of this environment you know the development process cycle is you get development which is local and when you finish developing you push on to for example like qa environment from qa which QA people could test out, see everything they work, then they could put them to development environment. Now to make all this process easy, like this, you could just need to create environment first, more create environment. I will come here, I will add environment, I will call this one Slack Loan API. And if they talk about variable, I could still show on how this variable thing they work. But we'll just add environment. Make I close this. So we don't add environment, we don't day here. So if we change them now. So we don't day this. We could put this one say dev. We'll make them dev. Dev environment. So you see, we have Slack clone API dev environment. If we add Slack clone API prod environment or QA environment, 
it will make sense when we start to create variable so we could leave that aside for now so if you come here create create collections which is which we can just call this which is collections of endpoints collections of requests call call this one slack loan api again and here we get authorization just in case where the server need, you need to send authorization for now the the backend application or the check authorization so we don't need to deal with that one yet when the time comes we will we'll, we'll go talk about that one so if you create this now now yeah, come here then you will tell us to add like request add request so we could just do what we do for browser for here we will take clo word i just copy them and come here say api v1 say hello because now hello down will return then i'll come here you see i put them here and i send them i get the same results we will get for the browser now but the thing now we say but within the browser no get we say i know if you change this method i know if you change this get method for the browser but i feel change them for postman you see and the back end could treat them differently based on all this method so now the variable section is okay make i create this one to be like variable man just call this the base part i'll come here i go edit this one i go add this as the variable name i'll call on base part and i'll call this the value initial value and this one uh, the current value then i go save i'll close i'll come here because now the base part i'll just feed you something like this and i just call the variable base part and send as to get the hello word you see so it means say if your api uh your dev environment say you change and say you, your dev environment they different from you know the base part they different from the qa environment all you just need to do now just to set those variables against those environment and postman know it to do based on the environment where they here you know with the value to put this one it's, so now just waiting i won't show enough for this video now so now we don't fit the talk to the server from postman and we don't create workspace we don't create environment environment variable for here we don't use them we don't make requests you don't see them come back so now waiting i won't show this for the next video we will now start to the develop like code we will create new user we will use the app like the admin now the admin now will want to run different things they will talk about authentication from there we will talk about J json web token authentication and all those passport and all those things from subsequent video so we still get work to do but now which i just want to show for this video please so i hope you will like um if you get any question if you join the uh, slack uh ng gigs i fit you know answer you quickly for there and you feed screenshot any error where you did get or any help where you need if you come here and then if you like the video you like the video if you never subscribe for my channel if you subscribe so that anytime where i post new video youtube will send you notification i hear enjoy